Hagen, who is speaking at the Royal New Zealand College of GPs Conference 2016 in Auckland. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. How are you? I'm great. Oh, that's marvellous. <laughs> it's so good that you'll come to speak. What are you talking on this year? I guess I'm a coal face GP, really. Yeah. So sort of slightly intimidating talking to all these people, but I've just completed a um, certificate in narrative practice yeah. um, in Boston, in the US, which um, was fantastic, actually. I imagine and it was, So yeah. I've become very interested in thinking about what we do in terms of stories. Yeah. And I gave a um, talk a couple of months ago at EDCON about stories in general practice. So in a sense, the patient arrives with a story, yes. we hear it in a particular way and translate that into a medical story. Yes. Which story is true, all of that, kind of, what it is to witness the story and respond to it. But tomorrow I actually want to talk about doctors. So oh, wow. I'm really interested in, I think patient-centred medicine has kind of given us this way of fully kind of exploring the patient's world. Yes. But the doctor's world is kind of unexamined or not really there. We're still sort of slightly put on our doctor's hat mm. and kind of interested in sort of teasing out the doctor side of the equation. Yeah. So yeah. the talk tomorrow is called Narrating Ourselves and it's the idea that we create an identity by participating in stories or hearing stories. So the way that we think about how to be a doctor is from stories we've been part of or heard or and we accumulate those stories and we, we kind of understand stories because we can put them into broader narratives so you might talk about a heroic doctor narrative yeah. and then you would instantly understand stories of being a doctor that fit that narrative yeah, yeah, yeah. and what I think kind of happens in medicine particularly in general practice where I think we've got a slightly a slight inferiority complex and so, in fact, the things that we do incredibly well, which are really to do with managing incredible suffering and uncertainty, yes, and aren't spoken yeah. because they're not really valuable. Yeah. And so what I'm interested in is what it would be if we actually spoke those stories and yeah. what a new kind of narrative would look like that we could kind of attach them to. Yeah. yeah. Do you think some of it is actually um, the the doctor is the medicine? You know, like often we, as a GP, you don't feel like you've done the job mm. unless you prescribe mm. something or mm. um, referred something or done something. But do you think it's partly that sort of the person being there? Mm. No, I mean I think that's very powerful. Yeah. And one of the things is that we've sort of had all these measurements implemented on us about yes. how to measure what we're doing, but. Yeah. None of them actually measure that. No. And no. the reality is I think it isn't measurable. Like mm. you can do a patient satisfaction survey, but I'm not sure that that actually captures the sort of things that we all know happen. And one of the things is you don't really know if you've done a good job. No. no. In some ways. Yeah. I mean, we all get surprised. You know, sometimes you might see someone and think that you really did nothing to help them, you just sat and listened to them and then six months later they come back and say, oh it was so much better after that, yeah. that was fantastic. And what you said on that consultation made such a difference and you go, what did I say? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So are you going to look into this a little bit more do you think? Uh, so I'm going to um, start my Masters of General Practice yeah. in Otago next year cool. and I want to look at um, the doctor's narrative. Yeah. And I think that I'm going to either use autoethnography or Stand analysis of things that doctors. Autoethnography is basically reflecting on your own experience, yep, yep. but putting it into some sort of theoretical kind of cultural framework. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And I might also have a look at writing by doctors, like particularly by GPs, yep, yep. like memoirs or things that people have written. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, very good. And um, I must say, I just watched a fantastic movie called The Country Doctor, which is a... Oh, a, it's coming to the festival. Yes, yes. it's amazing. Oh, yeah. good. And I'm very going. much the doctor's story. 
it's about the doctor and how he feels and his role yeah. and what's going on. And I know you've used visual arts and things like that before. Do you think you might go into that area as well? Uh, well, I did a postgraduate diploma at Otago yeah. but, and got very interested in, I mean, there was a, a wealth of ideas out there. Mm. People writing and thinking about general practice in academic literature, yeah. which my sadness about that is that cold-faced GPs don't get to hear that stuff. No. And so one of my things is that I like to be able to translate those ideas into a form that's kind of accessible yeah. at the coalface. Yeah. And I've done a, quite a lot of theatre and performance, so yeah. I've spent quite a lot of time trying to do that yeah. in a sort of different way. Yeah. I must say our peer group went to the movie and so actually as a peer group exercise right. going to something that was a visual art was really great so yeah. if you can get creative I'm sure people will go. Mm. Yeah. So thanks a lot, it's been great talking oh, to you today. I haven't just got started. Oh really? Would you like to talk some more? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure we can wait for um, what happens at the conference but it's so great to have you here. Thanks. I hope your masters goes really well. Yeah.